All right, Indian fans, part two of our schedule release special with Skip Mike Gillespie and uh, Coach talking about the Big West Conference now, focus on a very solid baseball conference year in and year out. It gets going with UC Riverside in late March, uh, a team that swept you guys actually last year, so a little bit of a revenge factor there. Well, thank you so much for reminding me of that, Michael. <laughs> yeah. In a year last year that was, for the most part, a good year, that was – hindsight that was the weekend that killed us and uh, it, it really what it did was it demonstrated not that we needed to have it demonstrated to us but it certainly did demonstrate the strength of this conference from top to bottom and uh, they'll be good again they return all their pitching uh, they return seven position player starters uh, Doug Smith is one of the really really good coaches in this conference so it's uh, we're glad to get him over here um, but it'll be it'll be a great opener, no question about it. And then in early April, you guys go to Hawaii to take on the Rainbow Warriors, uh, a team that might not be at the top tier yet of the Big West Conference, but certainly improving year after year. Well, they are, and, and again, somewhat like Fresno State, the University of Hawaii does have a long tradition of, of great baseball. Uh, and there is no question that they have strengthened this conference coming into this conference. And they were snake bitten last year. Boy, they really got they really got crushed with injuries to their pitching staff. So last year's bad news is good news for this year because some guys I think they would have lost to the draft they now have back. Uh, and at home they're always really tough. You know, they really draw at, at UH. I mean, to the tune of about yeah. forty five hundred people a night. And they're a little hostile there. It's a hard place to play. Sometimes the players themselves think they're going surfing. And, uh, <laughs> so they're a little distracted sometimes when, when you go there to play. So, right. um, it, it, you know, th there, will be, there will be no days off in conference play. And Cal State Northridge then, once you guys get back from Hawaii, comes to town. They had a decent year uh, last season. And then looking down the line a little more into mid-April, you guys uh, welcome in the Aztecs of San Diego State. Uh, UC Davis then right around the corner, and we talked about in the first part of our segment kind of murderer's row, and that starts April 29th. You guys got SC at SC, Santa Barbara comes to town, and San Diego, Cal Poly, UCLA, uh, just murderer's row. There. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it is a really, really tough stretch. Uh, the San Diego State series is a non-conference series, um, and uh, their Friday night starter could be the first player taken in the draft. It's, a, it's sort of a poor man, Steven Strasburg. So I think by that time, the word will be out. People will know that that's, a, that, 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 that that's something to have on the calendar, that particular game. And I think you, as you point out, we hit a stretch there where uh, we certainly need to be, we really need to be in contention at that point time because then you're going to run through you're going to run through the guys in the conference from which the conference champion could come right and then you got it doesn't get much easier in march uh or uh, excuse me may cal state fullerton uh, always big west contenders national title contenders in long beach state so who do you see those two i think goes without saying the top dog in this conference being this year well there's no question about it's not, there, there's no debate. Uh, Cal State Fullerton, again, will be the unanimous choice, unanimous right. choice right. to win the conference. Uh, they re the, the, the reason being that they return uh, their number one and number two starters who were both first-team all-conference pitchers last year. They held on in a very, very unusual situation. This rarely happens, but they held on to a first-round draft pick who is a pitcher. So it's Fullerton. However, um, I think before it's all said and done, uh, Long Beach State, Santa Barbara, Cal Poly uh, will all be heard from in a big way. And it, it, it's, it's not inconceivable that from that group of teams could the conference champion come. It's, uh, they're that good. It's a really good, good conference. Now talking about your anteater ball club in general, Guys, you lost Ronnie Schaefer, a uh, senior leader, now gone. Dominique Taylor drafted. I know you return a couple of big bats to the lineup. 
uh, with Taylor Sparks and Connor Spencer. Uh, Chris Rabago has got a great glove, so I know you're expecting a lot out of those guys. Well, they have to. They have to be what we believe them to be. They have to be high-end performers. And you're right, the guys that we lost were important and good, you, and you mentioned them. I mean, we lost Andrew Thurman, and we lost Matt Whitehouse from the pitching staff, the Friday and Saturday starters. And when you mentioned Ronnie Schaefer and Dominic Taylor, why they were key guys in, in uh, what was our offense. But that's what happens. Yeah. You, you lose guys, and you, you have to plan for it. You have to be able to recover from that. So the guys you mentioned, Taylor Sparks and Connor Spencer, particularly, who have already been really, really good and are good. Those are two high-end college players. Uh, Chris Rubago, who you mentioned, uh, played spectacular shortstop for us last year. And, um, and then uh, Jerry McClanahan returns from behind the plate. So he'll be a real X factor. You well, think. he is, yes. He's, he's a key guy. Uh, hurt last year, missed a lot of time with a broken wrist, uh, and I think chiefed it out trying to play through that injury when he did return. So we need him to be what he was before he got hurt. Andrew Morales should become the number one pitcher on the staff. He was our Sunday starter last year and had a spectacular year, 10-0, and first-team all-conference, all-American. But there will be a lot of new faces. And... Um, uh, it's legal for those guys to be good. They need to be good, and they need to be good fast, both among the pitching staff and among the field players. Uh, and there's a few guys that were in the program that either played part-time or played other significant roles. Mitch Merton, Jimmy Litchfield on the pitching staff. Right. Uh, Chris Paulino, uh, Mikey Duarte, uh, Grant Palmer. All these guys played a lot last year, and we need them to become what, uh, what they have a chance to be. They need, they need to take a step up. And get you out of here on this. We've you know, talked about the schedule at length, uh, the players coming back, but I know you feel strongly uh, about the atmosphere here at Anteater Ballpark. You know, the fans, this is a special place, isn't it? Well, it really is. You know, uh, relatively speaking, Michael, and I say relatively because I'm talking specifically about Southern California, uh, we do well here. We draw well. And obviously it has to do with, is the team playing well? Is your opponent good? What's the weather like? All those things factor in. Right. But the fact of the matter is, is that we typically draw well. Um, it's a great place to watch a game, as you well know. I mean, the, you're on top of the park. The seating's comfortable. We've got this berm that really attracts families. So it's not uncommon to see 800 to 1,000, even 1,200 people here for a certain weekend, a certain day. Uh, it's a great place to watch a game, and it's exciting. Now, we need to do our part, play well, and give them a product that they like to come see and, uh, because we know, that we know the schedule's strong. Right. We, know this is, we know it's an attractive schedule for people to come see good college baseball. So we look forward to it. We really do. And uh, you can get all your single game and season tickets at ucirvinesports.com. As Coach mentioned, it's a great place to watch a game and a great schedule here in 2014. Coach, thanks a lot for sitting down with Thank us. Thank you, Michael.